All right, guys, what is going on today? Today I want to show you guys a new toy that I got. I'm, I'm in love with this thing already. It is awesome. Uh, it's one of those things where you, you put it off because it's a little expensive, and you, you don't buy it for a couple years, and then you buy it, and you're like, why did I do this sooner? Because it's, it's awesome. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I got a new blade sharpener. This is the RBG 712. Let's see here. There it is. The RBG 712. And uh, Firehouse Yards Work, Lexington, South Carolina. What is happening? So, so here it is. And you know, I know a lot of you guys have probably seen it before, but. I'm going to kind of show you guys how it works and kind of talk about it a little bit and kind of tell you the benefits that I think that are in it and um, why I would recommend one if you can afford it. So anyway, so right now I want to show you guys kind of what my old blades look like. And this here is an old blade off of a 36, my 36 Vantage. So look at that blade. Pretty narrow. This side might be worse. Let's see if I can do this here. Look at that. That's kind of what my blades look like. And you know, when you've been doing the hand grinder for so long, you know, you just you you're don't you're not doing it at the right angle, so your your cutting width just gets smaller and smaller. Now with that similar blade, this is what they look like after I use this machine. That's a big difference. It's a huge difference. So I think this is going to be a, a good thing for us. Uh, a lot easier to sharpen, a lot easier to get the right uh, 30 degree angle. <clears throat> and let me kind of show you guys how it works. So I do like the fact that it has the double sides because on the walker blades, I do have to sharpen on the different side. So basically, you just put it in there like this and you just I, I just been pulling it back and it just works flawlessly like I said it just I'm, I'm amazed at how good it, it works um, you know so I thought I was gonna set this up a little bit and kind of show you guys how it works I got my 52 walker down here we're going to sharpen the blades on it so i'm going to take one i'll show you kind of a before and i'll show you kind of an after i'm only going to do one side let's see if i can set this down without messing you guys up here here we go so here's the walker blade as it is right now it's not too bad but it could be a lot better so now let me show you guys So, as you can see, I still need to do it a few more times, but I just kind of wanted to show you. Look how much better that is. I mean, what, what I like about it is that when you keep your angle that you're sharpening at, your, your, your width doesn't change. It keeps it that nice fat factory width that everybody likes. So, 
Yeah, I love it, man. What's up, guys? Uh, so, yeah, for guys that are just kind of showing up, just kind of showing the new toy that I got, the RBG 712 uh, blade sharpener. Uh, it makes sharpening blades so much better. So, sorry, guys. I know the connection might not be as great. Uh, so, I don't know. Uh, for some reason here in the shop, it just kind of, sometimes it goes in and out. That's why a couple times I've tried to do live videos and it didn't work. So, uh, but yeah, I'm really, really stoked about this sharpener. Uh, it's going to save us a lot of time. It's going to, uh, we're going to get a lot better cut than what we normally, what we have been getting. We've been getting a good cut, but I think the, the blade's going to stay sharpened, sharpened longer now. And, uh, everything's just going to be a little bit easier. So. Uh, really, really glad I got it. How much was it? I paid $400. <coughs> Excuse me. I paid $400 for this one. I bought it on eBay. Um, uh, you know, that's one of the reasons why it's taken me kind of so long to buy one because I really didn't see the benefit in paying four or five, six hundred dollars for a blade sharpener. Um, but honestly, I'm, I'm so glad I bought it. Um, it it's just going to help tremendously. I think it's a it's, it's a very good tool for anybody that cuts a lot of yards. So, but yeah, I found mine on eBay. Um, I'm not sure how much they are through the company or whatever, but uh, found mine on eBay. That's a 712. They also make a nine something, and that's a seven inch disc. The, the nine, 900 something is a nine inch disc, and it's about a two or $300 price difference. So I went with that one. I think it's gonna work great. Um, yeah, just really looking forward to kind of getting to, yep, 912. So, you know, that one, I think it was close to six or $700. So, so yeah, um, you know, I'm just, I'm really excited because I, I had to have one like this because I can do both sides. And that's what, that's what I need when I run the 48 Walker is, the, the blades are, are, are opposite, so I have to be able to do that. So, so what's up with you guys? Vice grip and angle grinder for me. Yeah, and I, I've done that for three years. Um, I'm just not very good at it. Some people are better at it than others, and I'm not one that's good at it. So, you know, my, my blades didn't last very long. They didn't stay sharp as long as I wanted them to. And, uh, you know, it's just because I just – it's hard to keep that 30 degree angle when you're doing it by hand so so that's why I chose to go ahead and buy one because you know we're gonna be mowing a lot of yards and uh, I just wanted something a little bit more efficient something that would keep my blades sharpened longer and the blade life will last a lot longer how often do I sharpen them I try to do it twice a week I try to do it twice a week so sometimes that doesn't work out and that's another reason why I bought the machine it's because it's just a lot quicker now. And also, let, oh, I didn't, I didn't even show you guys this. I'm not sure how I can show it to you. Hold on. Some of you guys will probably think this is stupid, but I thought I think it's pretty cool. So, let's see, where can I set my phone at so where you guys can see? Anyway, the stand that it's on. Jesse built this out of just some, uh, some old wood he had at his house. But we put wheels on it, so it's portable. <laughs> that's cool <laughs> I thought it would be kind of cool if it was portable because a lot of our mowers are going to be staying on the trailer and instead of having to unload the mowers and do all that uh, we could just pop the decks up right there take the blades off we can just wheel this right over to the to the mowers and just sharpen them up real quick and we're, we're out of there so uh, yeah <laughs> I forgot about that Check it out. Woo. That's cool. I like it. I actually got the idea off another guy that I follow on Facebook, and uh, it looked like he had wheels on his, so I was like, that's a pretty good idea. So, so yeah, man. Uh, do you wash the mowers every, every day? No, I do not wash my mowers every day. No. Um, no. <laughs> Not even close, man. Not even close. Uh, I try to do it once a week, uh, but man, it's it's hard. 
it's hard. I'm hoping the shop and the drain and all that will help with that. But man, it is, it's hard finding time to do all that kind of stuff. So, so yeah, uh, you know, let's, we don't do it though. You look into yellow Hornet blade sharpener. No, is that the one that holds the grinder up? Is that the one that holds the grinder up and it has the deal? I looked at that. You know, I've actually I've actually been wanting one of these for a long time. For a long time. For a couple of years now. So, you know, I just I went ahead and decided to do it. So, I know some got a bad connection there for a second or two. You think you're bringing in more money with your cleanups in the spring? I think so. You know, it's nice to have, uh, you know, because a, a lot of yards, they don't start mowing at the exact same time, you know. Uh, a lot of my customers, you know, they won't, they won't call me back until the grass is, you know, kind of taken off. So, um, <clears throat> you know, it's nice to have cleanup jobs, you know, at the beginning of the spring because you're not full, full bore for a few weeks. You know, you might be cutting a few yards here and there, but, um, you know, so... And, you know, my phone has been ringing, and um, it's been ringing pretty good. You know, I'm getting a lot of traffic off the website. Um, I actually just got a call uh, 30 minutes ago before I started doing this live that, uh, you know, she wants to clean up. So um, I actually have two sod jobs I'm bidding tomorrow, and I have to go look at two cleanups tomorrow. So, you know, that's, that's a big change for me. I'm not used to having that many bids, you know, and – have to schedule half a day just to go give bids so but that's what I've done this week is I've gotten so many calls that I'm just I scheduled them all on Friday I tell everybody you know hey I'll be out there Friday to look at your look at your uh, your project whatever you got going on and so yeah do I ever get customers that don't phone at the start of the season yeah I mean they, they, they want to wait you know they don't want you mowing when it's only a half inch too tall, you know, they want to save as much money as they can too. So, you know, especially, you know, residential guys, they, you know, a lot of mine wait a little bit too long, but I don't, you know, not a, not a huge deal. So my t-shirt size is a two X. I'd like to get down to a one X, but it's a two X right now. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, you know, one thing I haven't mentioned yet is, uh, um, a couple days ago I've been working with this other company and uh, they were wanting to subcontract a bunch of stuff out and uh, so I ended up bidding on a few things and I ended up getting them so I picked up about thirty two thousand dollars worth of mowing for this year so uh, that was something that just happened a couple days ago I'm super super stoked about that you know that's a big that's a big pickup for me you know and uh, you know, a couple pretty big properties. So, so yeah, um, that, that's been, that's been pretty awesome. So how did my weight loss scheme go? Well, I don't know if I'd call it a scheme. It's not a scheme. Um, you know, I was going good, you know, um, I'm still down. I'm still down about 15 pounds from where I was at. Uh, I haven't really lost a whole lot more just because I've been busy, haven't been working out, been eating a, not 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 the greatest right now. But so, how well does the walker pick up large amounts of leaves? It does great, man. It does great. So, yeah, thanks guys, lawn men. So thanks, buddy. But yeah, that's super exciting news to me. Uh, you know, I just you know I'm I'm pretty fortunate. You know, my phone is ringing right now, so. Uh, so yeah, um, yeah, sorry, I, the connection keeps going in and out for a little bit, so, uh, what year is the shop truck? That one? That one is a, uh, 06, 06 GMC Duramax 2500 Sierra, uh, you guys want to see the flatbed? You want to see the flatbed with the sides on it? It's back to the shop now. <coughs> Might be a little late into the season. I didn't see that one. We want flatbed update. All right, let's go check it out. Let's go see. All right. Oops. 
So, first off, look, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but this is our little kitchen here. It's our little kitchen. We got a couple old cabinets, microwave, refrigerator. So, let's go see the flatbed. There's the flatbed. Looks like a big utility truck. <laughs> That's awesome. That's funny. There she is. There she is. Kind of show you guys what we did here. There's a flatbed. So what I did is I had my buddy weld on, kind of put a frame on, and he found some really, really thin metal to uh, weld on there as well. So and what I, what I, the reason why I went with metal, or uh, you know, at the flat surface, because I want to get this part wrapped or get my logos on there somehow, and uh, you know that's why I wanted a flat surface so my logos would stick on there I'm actually thinking about going back to the company that did my black truck and seeing if they can come up with a design for the, for just the side panels and just do a wrap on the side panels I think that'd be pretty cool so but yeah there's the truck she's doing good got to get a couple new tires for her but that's about it turn that off so Logo, very smart move. Thanks, man. <laughs> Grass Daddy, what's happening, buddy? Oh, you missed a lot, man. You missed a lot. We've been talking about a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Quick quick recap. New blade sharpener. Flatbed's here. Picked up some new accounts. That's about it. Stand on versus sit down. I like stand on, man. Um, but it's all preference. They both, you know, they're going to they're gonna cut about the same. Um, so just depends on what you want. Depends on what you want. So, man, what's happening, guys? There's a shop. It's kind of what I got going on. You guys see the carpet over there? Right there. I got the, uh, got the office carpeted. So, hell yeah. Am I going to paint it black? Probably so. Probably so. But I'm waiting because I, I, you know, if I'm going to get the whole side of it wrapped, then I'll just get it wrapped whatever color and whatever logos I want on there. So, <coughs> excuse me. Ah, still, I'm still kind of sick. Uh, I'm still pretty congested. Got a lot of stuff going on right around here, right around there. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope it's not freezing up on you guys. It says bad connection again. I don't know why it keeps doing that. So, how many mowers do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Something like that. What's up, Wisconsin? Wisconsin. What engine's in the Duramax? 6.6. Let's see what there's a comment. Let's see what it said. Vinya man, you mentioned in a video way back that you wanted to stop working and have a crew do all your jobs. What's the idea on that now? Well, honestly, the idea on that right now is I tried that last year. It didn't work out the way I wanted it to. So I'm gonna have my I'm gonna have my hands and feet, you know, with the crews this year. You know, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing a lot of mowing with them. Uh, you know, cause I just think it's right now I need to make sure that everything's getting done right. And not that the, sorry, I got a call. Got here late. Thoughts on the blade sharpener. So Brad, Brad, it's awesome, man. Awesome. hundred percent. I would recommend, uh, I got the 712. It's, it was $400 on eBay. Uh, it's a lot of money for a blade sharpener in my opinion. That's why it took me so long to buy one But I'm so happy. I did my 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 blades look a hundred hundred times better hundred times So my, my blades weren't looking very good and it's funny because when you 
when you when you take one of your old blades and you start running it through there you start seeing how far that it's off you know it takes a while to get it back but once you do it's awesome yeah i do need to i don't i don't i don't have a blade balancer what i do is i stick a nail in the wall or something or i used to put it in my vise and then i would stick the i'd put the blade on there and that's how i balance my blades so yeah, I'm sorry if it keeps freezing, guys. It's the bad connection, but, but uh, so yeah, not sure. So, how did you get your YouTube channel so built up and so many subscribers? Uh, good question. I just kept trying, man. I kept putting out videos, and I kept just trying to be, you know, trying to be me. You know, just trying to make videos that I like to make and try to make videos that people might want to watch. And, um, you know, just been very, very lucky. Very lucky in my opinion. So, I, I really don't know. Uh, you know, I'm going to block somebody there. The queen, you are out of here. Strongest string trimmer line. I don't know. I don't know. I like the Husqvarna line, but that's the one I, I tend to go back to every time I start switching around everything to see what's better. So, lower the quality. I'm not sure how to do that. Let's see here. Sure, nope, that ain't it. That ain't it. I don't know, maybe I have to do that before I before I load up the video. I'll try that next time, but yeah, I know the connection's not the greatest, but I'm I'm trying here. So really enjoy your videos. Keep up I use point ninety five oh ninety five. Yeah, I got tracks. I I got I I got gas in my truck, so I definitely don't like running out of gas, so I got something up on my screen I'm trying to get rid of here and I can't. Oh well, I'll just have to deal with it, so. But, <clears throat> do you ever come down to, I've never been to Atlanta. Never been to Atlanta. So, you guys wanna see the office? You wanna see the carpet? I got some more stuff hung up on the wall up there. So, you guys let me know. Are you still thinking of quitting your full-time job? Yes. I think about it all the time. <laughs> That's always on my mind. Always on my mind. Uh, uh, Blake's Gravely looks awesome, man. It looks pretty sweet. So, sorry, I'm trying to read the comments here. I wish the comments, I don't know, can you guys see the comments whenever we're on here? Miller 419, what up, Ohio? Let's see the office, Andrew Shield says. All right, let's go check it out. We got some carpet in there. Do, 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 do. Put on some dramatic music. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so here's the office. There's my carpet. Look at it. Still trying to get organized. There's my desk, got my printer set up, got some shirts and hats set up over here. So, got all my pictures hanging up. So, yeah, still got a bunch of shirts here to hang or to get hung up. Oh, Seth the Lawn Surgeon. And they got a bunch more in here that I need to get hung up. I just haven't had a chance to yet. So yeah, here's the office. Pretty cool. This is my GIE tag from the first, very first year I went. That's pretty cool. So, but anyway guys, what will take you for, Sorry, trying to read the comments here. But I'm going to have to get off of here in just a minute. 
So, I appreciate you guys coming on. Let's do me ramble for a little while. Main reason why I wanted to do this was kind of show you guys the blade sharpener, and then I just get to talking. I I will talk your head off if you. I mean, I'll sit on here for two hours if you guys want me to, or you let me anyway. No, I'm kidding. I gotta go. I got stuff to do. So I actually have an acre lot to go mow, and I have to have another cleanup. Uh, to go do today so I need to go get that done so but guys I appreciate you coming on I appreciate you guys uh, hanging out with me uh, you know it, it's fun it's fun getting to kind of interact with you guys and uh, kind of show you what's going on with my life and kind of get to read some of your comments and what's going on with your life so that's what kind of that's what makes this whole YouTube thing pretty pretty awesome for me so Guys, I appreciate it. Be happy, be humble, stay hungry. See you guys later.